I'm Paul Swift, and I'm the one who's been driving a completely frozen Lexus LC convertible today. Uh, at the beginning of this morning, got in the freezer and sat inside the car, which is quite crispy. Obviously, it's been chilled overnight to minus 18. I'm Gary Fleming. I work in the vehicle component test lab. We put a Lexus in our large climatic chamber. The chamber would have got there in approximately 40 minutes to an hour. We then completed a further soak for 12 hours to ensure the vehicle was at a stable temperature. To create a cold climate condition, we have a refrigeration unit that conditions the air that is capable of temperature ranges between minus 60 and 90 degrees. The testing that you guys have just been putting the vehicle through would be good for testing the climate concierge, really putting it through its paces to ensure that the occupant is going to be able to have a, a nicer ride. Even considering it was minus 18, it was still quite comfortable in the car. The chamber can be quite a hostile environment. Deep freezing on electrical components can be challenging, but as the infotainment screens didn't have a problem operating within the minus 18 degree climate. It was all completely dark. Got the action to go, darted the engine, and immediately I could feel the steering wheel warming up. We had a dry ice effect as we came out of the lab, and uh, it was all super slow-mo, and you could hear the crispness of the tyres on the ground, getting bits of ice falling off the car as we are going along the roads. To be honest, I've never really experienced anything as dramatic as this, where you're going from such extreme cold back to sort of normal temperatures for the UK in May. See, once it was defrosted, we took it out on the Alpine route, to be able to squeeze the loud pedal. The Alpine route's quite testing, because it undulates quite a lot, and uh, it's got some quite fast flowing corners into some tight hairpins. The gear change is effortless. Five litre V8 engine. It does everything you want from a performance point of view, but also it's comfortable. So we've never really subjected a convertible vehicle to the minus 18 requirement with the top down. Pleasantly surprised at the results that you guys have managed to achieve.